First, I'd like to thank all of you for coming to our Super Saturday open house event. Um, this day really is all about you guys. Uh, we're going to be providing all kinds of information regarding the log home industry in general, but as well as Golden Eagle Log Homes. So it really should be an exciting day for you. And uh, look forward to meeting everyone throughout the day and getting started. So uh, my name is Derek Schultz. I'm the manager of our final selections department here at Golden Eagle Log Homes. Um, I've been in the industry for over 14 years. I, I attended college for residential design and engineering, which also included cabinetry design. So um, the first probably 10 years of my career uh, started out as doing wall floor and truss engineering, um, as well as uh, floor plan design. So I've got a pretty extensive background in the entire um, housing industry, uh, which helps with uh, the overall design of your cabinets when you folks will eventually meet with me. Um, today I'll be covering with you folks the diversity of our complete package. The number one reason why people choose Golden Eagle Log Homes is our complete package. 97% of the customers who choose Golden Eagle are selecting our complete package. The advantages for you folks um, in our complete package is that you're able to select everything from one facility, uh, you don't have to go bouncing around from store to store, making sure everything fits in your package. Uh, we'll assist you with that process here. Uh, we certainly don't have any limitations to our package whatsoever. Uh, everything is going to be designed for your home, and we can get any product out on the market for you. Uh, throughout this presentation, I'll explain why our complete package is so popular. So once you are through uh, with your sales staff, um, essentially finalizing your floor plan, making sure the design of your plan works for you. Uh, once you know that the floor plan works for you and you have a preliminary proposal written up, so you've got a good idea of what your project is going to cost you, uh, you'll contact me to set up your final selections appointment. At that time, um, you guys will meet with me. We'll do a final review of your overall plans, make sure everything uh, makes sense. We'll discuss uh, the kitchen, as far as whether an island makes more sense than a peninsula. I'll go over any non-structural changes with you folks that make sense either uh, aesthetically uh, or functionally, uh, making sure that door swings are appropriate, that type of thing. Um, we'll give you uh, one final overview there uh, and making sure the plan is truly nailed down and it makes sense for you guys. Um, I will be also designing your kitchen specifically for your log home. Um, Log homes are not like uh, residentially framed homes uh, when it comes to different details that are required for cabinets. Uh, they just simply aren't the same. There's different things that I need to be concerned with um, that wouldn't hold true in normal residential construction. And uh, I'll go over those details with you folks as well uh, while you're here. And then we'll be reviewing your color palette as well. We'll be making selections on everything from your exterior stain, shingles, softened fascia, cultured stone. All those items we'll be going over as well, making your faucet selections. Basically, um, once you're through with me, hopefully you've got a good visualization of what your project's going to look like, and you'll be able to start to take ownership of, of your home, uh, and you'll start to understand how it's all going to come together. The biggest portion of the project, of my end of the project, is going to be doing your cabinet design. On average, I, I work on and sell 90 kitchens a year, 220 baths, probably 75, 80 laundry rooms a year. Um, so I do a lot of cabinet designs for folks. Uh, everybody that I work with has a different budget in mind and that is one thing uh, to think about prior to meeting with me is that, like I mentioned, you'll have a proposal written up, you'll know what our package costs are. Uh, there are gonna be different options within our package as far as what we include. Um, we can get, crazy with your cabinet design, we can keep it pretty standard. Um, it's important for you folks to have a budget in mind just so I can provide you the highest quality materials to fit your budget and design. So it's something to keep in mind. We have three different cabinet manufacturers here at Golden Eagle that we use. Um, Homecrest, which is manufactured out of Indiana, uh, has five different wood species that they include standardly in their package. Oak, hickory, maple, Rustic hickory and cherry are the three, or I'm sorry, are the five wood species that they carry. They also have MDF, which isn't overly popular on our, in our end of the industry, um, but for painted cabinets, it is popular in some cases. So, 
Um, we also offer Birch Legacy, which is uh, manufactured in Iowa. They have 23 different wood species that they consider standard. And with that said, if it's not one of their standard wood species and it can legally be harvested, they'll get it for you. Um, they, there may be some limitations as far as door styles that are available, things like that. Um, but truly, there are going to be no limitations with this line. It is a completely custom line of cabinets. They, they basically work the same way we do. They bring in raw cans that we see out in our yard. They bring into their facility. It's kiln dried. They cut it specifically to your project. Um, everything is pre-finished prior to assembly. So uh, this is truly a custom line of cabinets. You can't get any more custom than what Birch is. Um, they're manufacturing their own plywood, everything uh, from cans to the finished product. Uh, Omega, which is also manufactured in Indiana. Birch and Omega were brothers that split up and started their own companies. Um, they have 12 different wood species standard. Once again, completely custom line of cabinets. So we've got two lines of cabinets that are completely custom. Um, we can do anything for you as long as it can actually be engineered and built, we can get it done. And there are going to be no limitations on wood species. Finishes, we can do completely custom as well. And I'll get into more details on that here shortly. Um, one of the uh, items that we'll be addressing when I do meet with you guys is going to be, uh, we'll be selecting door styles, wood species, and finish. Um, so there are going to be different, um, different things that affect the overall price of cabinets. And we'll get into details on your specific projects when I meet with you, but just to give you a brief overview on how cabinets work and the overall pricing on cabinets. When you look at a door, there's two different uh, types of, the, the most obvious thing to customers is probably the panel. Um, in my left hand here, the center panel on that door is a flat panel door. Um, and the, this door on here on the right is a raised panel door. A flat panel door is going to be less expensive than your raised panel door. Also in my left hand, the overlay of the door. Overlay refers to how the door covers the frame of the cabinet. You can see a, a little more exposure of the face frame on this cabinet here. This is called a standard overlay. This door over here covers more of the face frame of the cabinet. That's called a full overlay door. These two doors, just by looking at them, you can tell that this door, or I can tell that this door is going to cost you more. We've got so many different doors, wood species, and stains to choose from. I'll be covering all those items with you uh, when we meet. Also, the drawer in this cabinet here is a flat panel drawer, where this is a five-piece drawer over here. Once again, going to be a little bit more expensive. And these are all items that we can pick and choose what we want, the different options that are available. Um, next, on this door, uh, there's different, depending on the door style you choose, there could be more detail or less detail depending on what we choose from. But this door here has some different characteristics to it that um, we selected, uh, one of which is we applied a glaze. The glaze hangs up in the areas where there's deviation in the, the face frame of the cabinet, or the door styles of the cabinet. Uh, so a glaze was applies, applied to this door, and we have the ability to choose from three different glaze applications. So I bring this out because all of these doors were started with the exact same stain. This door here is just has no glaze on it whatsoever. This is just a, a rustic hickory with a driftwood stain on it. So this is what it would typically start with. Uh, next, you can choose to get a light glaze applied to your door. So once again, the glazes are just hanging up in the overall character of the door. Uh, it does affect somewhat the flat surfaces of the door, but most of the character you see is going to be in those hang up areas. This is considered a standard glaze. So once again, the face frame of the door got a little bit darker, but uh, there's a little bit more depth in the, the hang up of the door there. And then this is called an antique glaze. So once again, it gets much darker. So there's essentially four different levels from, well, standard and then three different glaze options that are available. And once again, if need be, we can specify um, just hang up in the, or glaze in the hang up areas, that type of thing. So there's a lot of different unique details that we can bring and make the kitchen your own. Um, Last, um, we'll be covering uh, the different um, 
details regarding uh, this is a a menu essentially for um, distressing so distressing and rustic hickory some people get these mixed up or I'm sorry rustic wood species rustic wood species are only the character of the wood that's the only thing that's causing deviation in the wood it's the knots things like that then we also have a distressing menu which um, you guys get to pay for someone to beat the crap out of your cabinets <laughs> Okay, so you can invite your grandkids over to do that, or you can pay somebody to do it. But there's going to be nine different options to add uh, distressing to your cabinets. And we certainly don't have to add any distressing because it's not for everybody, but there's certainly options available. Um, to, and, it, and it does bring character to your cabinets, and, and some of them are very unique and uh, desired by, by many of our customers. Oh, one other point, all of our cabinets have a certification through KCMA, which is a, a nationally recognized uh, performance standard for cabinets, uh, the construction, durability, as well as hardware. So, um, like I mentioned, with two of our lines, they're completely custom. Some customers say, well, I'm going to go to my custom guy down the street, which is fine. You're more than welcome to go with cabinets wherever you want. Uh, just understand that the difference between the products that we, we use and the guys that are building out of their shop is that we have certifications that are, with, that are held up to certain performance standards. They have limited lifetime warranties on all the products. Essentially, if there's any, um, any damage or concern from the manufacturer itself, they will replace it free of charge. They can also do color match for you to make sure that you know, 10, to, 10 years down the road, if your cabinets have aged some, they can get that cabinet door looking exactly like it does in your kitchen today, and not like it did 10 years ago. So they'll make sure they color match it for you. Um, and all three lines um, are very reliable. Um, and, you know, they, they stand behind all of their products. So we have absolutely no concerns there. Here, I just showed a picture of what you folks will be sitting down and meeting with me and doing. In the lower left-hand corner there, um, we'll start out looking at the overall floor plan of your cabinets, and this is what I'll be presenting to you folks, as well as the uh, rendering you see here on the top of the screen. Um, when we initially meet, everything is going to be drawn for you. This really helps you guys visualize if you're not able to visualize what your cabinets are going to look like. This will really help you visualize what your cabinets look like when we sit down and meet. From that point, we'll go through and discuss all the different options and accessories available. Uh, incorporate those into your plan. See what type of elevation change you might want to see in your cabinet layouts and so on. And then the picture on the lower right just gives, uh, is a finished product of one of our homes. So it, it does give you a what I want to show you is it does give you a good representation of what your final product is going to look like. And it really helps you wrap your mind around the entire project. This is just one more image of from design to reality. So once again, uh, this is a rendering that I provided. And then in the lower left hand corner is what the final product turns out to be. So the software that we use um, does do a pretty good job showing all the ornate details and things like that. But it's not obviously real life, but it does a pretty accurate representation. One of the other items that we'll be discussing is different uh, trends and features. Um, in the bathrooms, uh, one of the things that we're seeing is uh, still gla glass shower, tile showers are very popular. Uh, incorporating copper sinks into the maybe the master bath or a half bath as a showpiece are very common. Um, this is more of a rustic industrial look that they've done, um, added a TV, uh, the cultured stone, bringing different elements and uh, textures into any room in your house is a great idea. It helps uh, break things up. In the lower right hand corner is a more traditional layout with a split vanity, a makeup desk area uh, for your husband. And, um, you know, so all these things are going to be what we lay out when I meet with you guys during your visit. In the cabinets for the kitchen, um, Dark finishes are becoming more popular. Grays are definitely, uh, be, gray tones are becoming more popular. Incorporating two to three, even four different colors or wood species and textures 
in a, in a kitchen are not uncommon anymore. Painted cabinets, industry-wide, still hands down the biggest seller. Not necessarily big in our market. Uh, we sell a lot more rustic wood species, things like that. But industry-wide painted cabinets are still um, definitely the biggest seller. Different things that we do that are, is very inexpensive would be alternating heights and depths of cabinets. Uh, helps break up some of the lines in the kitchen. Uh, we can create different focal points using elevation change uh, for your cabinetry. Uh, incorporating corbels, turn posts, things of that nature. Um, like I mentioned down here, uh, making your island an accent piece or a furniture piece is something that we'll work on. Doing split wall cabinets uh, like we've done here, depending on your ceiling heights, uh, some customers are you know, taking their, the tops of the cabinets up to eight, nine, 10 feet. So uh, changing the different elevations and adding split wall cabinets, these are all things that we can do um, that some manufacturers are unable to do. Again, because the lines that we use create all of their own plywood ends, things like that. They're manufacturing everything from raw cans. We've got the ability to, to make panels up to 10 feet tall without a seam in them, which a lot of these kitchens that you'll see have stacked wall cabinets, things like that. These are actually manufactured as one piece because they are a custom line of cabinets. So it is a bit unique in that sense. The perfect fit. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the biggest benefits of Golden Eagle, not just our complete package and being able to access and, and make all your selections in one, in one place, but the benefit to all that also is that we will guarantee that all the products that you select from Golden Eagle are going to fit in your package as it's designed. We know when your plans leave our facility that they have been designed to make sure that everything fits. Uh, cabinets obviously is one of my biggest concerns and that's what I work on, put a lot of detail in. Engineering, um, they're going to work on making sure all your tub fixtures fit, showers fit, things like that. That takes uh, the stress out of your hands to, make, to communicate with your contractor to make sure what you're buying will fit in the plan. Um, I will at some time be contacting you folks to find out the appliances that you've uh, selected. Um, to make sure, then at that point, I'll, I'll go through, research it, make sure they fit in the cabinet layouts uh, that we had designed while we visited. Uh, if they don't, we'll change them to make sure they fit. And after all that's done, the cabinets, I export your specific layouts to our engineering department. They'll import them into their plans so we know everything fits. Down to a 64th of an inch, it's accurate. So. Um, and highly unlikely, highly unlikely your builder's building to a 64th of an inch. So we should be in pretty good shape there. All of our cabinets are going to be coming to you factory direct. After the dimensions have been confirmed with your contractor, and like I mentioned, I make sure your appliances fit, I will place your order, the cabinets will be built, and they're going to come to you factory direct. Uh, there's a few benefits to this. Um, you get reduced lead time, so we're not ordering your cabinets, bringing them to our facility, and then sending them back out to you. It minimizes job site time, so your builder can give us a date that he's trying to target. We'll get them there around that date within a week. And then what that does is it reduces job site time and then it reduces product damage because for anyone who's built a home or been on a job site, uh, if they get cluttered, they can start to get hectic, and at that time, accidents happen. So this helps reduce product damage, um, and and also helps keep you know big boxes out of the way of your contractor as well. So we're we're going to deliver these cabinets when they're needed. We're not going to bring them out when we feel like you're ready for them. The perfect fit also for all your wall finishes. Um, it's going to be your interior doors, exterior doors, as well as your windows. Um, what we're taking into account here is the different wall finishes. At some point you will go through and sit down with your sales staff and pick out the different wall finishes you're going to have in each individual room. Uh, for your interior doors, we will be ordering the doors per the wall finish and lumber material that's designed in your plan. And the doors themselves will have pinned and split jams. Uh, this may not mean a lot to you, but it's a benefit to your contractor because there is some flexibility there for him to um, Manipulate the size of the door jam to make sure it fits in, on your walls the way they should. All of our exterior doors are going to be ordered with full depth jams. So 
Once again, we're taking into account uh, the thickness of your full log walls or the, if you had half log siding on the interior house, things like that. We're going to make sure that the jam on your exterior doors is going to be the entire depth of your exterior wall. We won't be doing any split jams for those. And then for our windows, um, all of our windows are typically ordered at 4 and 9 16 inch jam. At that point, we provide finished material for the contractor to uh, pack out the window jam depth to the appropriate depth. You can order full depth jams um, if you would like. That's something you would want to discuss with your salesman. Um, but they are all typically ordered at 4 and 9 16 For our interior doors, um, on the interior doors, once again, there are truly no limitations as far as what we can get for you. We've got different wood species that we consider standard in our packages. Um, however, as long as it can legally be harvested and you can dream it and it can actually be engineered, we can get it built for you, okay? So, um, you know, pine, knotty pine, knotty alder, oak, these are probably our most common selected wood species for interior doors. Um, we show many more than that here in our showroom. And then also, we've got a kitchen quality interior door that's also available, manufactured by Birch Legacy, which is one of the manufacturers that we use for our cabinets. Uh, once again, truly a custom door. The, the finishes that are available are going to be the same exact finishes that are available in your kitchen, which is one of the reasons why we brought this on. Some customers like to have that continuity around their entire house. So they're going to match their wood species from their cabinet. They're going to get the same stain as their cabinet, the glazing, the distressing. All that can be done on your interior doors, the same thing that can be done in your cabinets. So, um, and it is a completely custom line. We can change the profiles of it however you prefer. On the exterior doors, we've got uh, three basic types of exterior doors. There's steel insulated doors. We have wood entry doors as well as fiberglass entry doors. Um, within those three different um, construction methods slash materials, uh, we can basically get you any type of door you desire. Any size, any width, uh, any dimension you're looking for. There are, once again, really no limitations uh, for the exterior doors. Um, so. Some, some products, you know, we'll go through, we'll sit down and discuss the exposure to the elements, where you may be under overhangs, may not be, you may have backsplash on doors. There's going to be different materials that we'll suggest for your application, but really in the end, the choice is yours as far as what you want. Windows. Uh, Golden Eagle spent a decade trying to come up with a partnership for Pella, and finally a few years ago, um, they agreed to it. So they are, we are now able to distribute nationwide the Pella product. Uh, Pella is the number one recognized brand of windows uh, in the United States. One of the biggest advantages to Pella is, well, first of all, their nationwide distribution. Second of all, their service. Pella's service, hands down, is the best in the industry. Uh, they will make sure that you, the customer, are taken care of in the event that there ever is an issue. Um, Encompass vinyl windows are what we include in all of our packages and um, the advantage to the vinyl units first of all is that it is a maintenance free product if that is something you're after so um, and they have all the different uh, uh, double hung single hung slide by uh, um, what am I else casement windows awning windows they've got all the uh, they've got all that available, so there are some limitations as far as sizes that are available and so on through, through the vinyl series, but we can figure ways around that when it comes into the design stage. Um, next would be their Pella Proline series. This is for customers that are looking to have wood exposure on the inside of their house and then a, an aluminum clad on the outside of the house. Their Proline series has eight different colors for the exterior of their home. Um, the more popular ones we show here uh, green is a popular package, brown, bronze, black, those colors are available through the Proline series. And then you've got that wood interior finish, which we can get stained um, for you. We can get that pre-finished or it's a color that, it's an option that you could finish that in the field for yourselves as well. They've got the Pella Impervia window, 
which is a fiberglass unit. Now this is an option that you know, we may consider using in a shower area if it's something you're gonna be putting, uh, if you're gonna have a window or an awning window in your walk-in tile shower, things like that, to help reduce maintenance uh, for those areas. Um, another advantage to the Impervia units is there's several more, more color options available in a maintenance-free line than there is in the uh, vinyl units. So definitely a, an option for you there. And then between the architect and designer series, this once again is a product that we would go after where there's no limitations. I mean, as long as it can be engineered, uh, they'll build it for us. If you need pink, we'll get you pink. Um, you know, there are no limitations between the architect and designer series. We can get you basically any product that you're looking for. In Semco, we list Wisconsin only. Um, the reason we say that is they are based out of Wisconsin. Their distribution, um, they have definitely delivered for us nationwide, but we found it's better as far as service-wise, things like that, because price point is very similar to our Pella Proline series regardless, and it is a comparable product to the Pella Proline series. It's got an aluminum clad exterior with a wood interior. So, um, we found that it's best to keep it in Wisconsin for, for our customers because they're able to service our customers in Wisconsin much quicker than they are to, to service customers nationwide. So, um, but we can certainly work with you if that's something, you, if you're after the Semco product, we can certainly do that for you. Um, they've got uh, nine premier colors for the exterior of their home. Um, once again, different wood species. It's a very similar product to the Pella Proline series, different window grill patterns, uh, things of that nature. So, The color palette, like I mentioned earlier, um, I'll be covering all the colors with you folks throughout your home. Everything from your exterior stain, um, we'll be choosing uh, different accent items, things like that. So you may want your, your logs on your home the wall logs finished in one stain, but we may do um, different posts and beams as a darker accent item or vice versa. Um, we'll be selecting your softened fascia, which is the metal edge and underside of your roof. Uh, we'll also be discussing if you'd prefer to have that as wood rather than uh, an aluminum maintenance-free product. Uh, the roofing, all we offer here at Golden Eagle is gonna be asphalt roof. Um, if you're after a metal roof, that is something that we could uh, help you source or work with your builder on sourcing, but uh, metal roofing would not be provided through Golden Eagle. Uh, Diamond Coat, which isn't a product that I show on here, but it's, uh, it is a maintenance-free um, product that we would be able to help you with as well that is typically used in accent areas of your home. Um, polymer shakes, uh, they are shown on here. So this is a maintenance-free version of a shake that is available in several different colors. Um, some customers prefer to keep the cedar shakes that we offer in our package as a standard, but that is a nice maintenance-free option if it's something you're interested in. Cultured stone um, is something that we offer. This person used quite a bit of it. Otherwise, we're just going to be having your fireplace chase, walkout walls. It's not a bad idea to put cultured stone around the bottom two or three feet of your entire perimeter of your home for any backsplash, things like that, to help keep your logs um, off those elements. And then different timbers and windows. We'll be working on the colors for those as well. Um, here you can see this person used a, a copper roof. Um, up on this person's home, we've got what we call our western roof system. This is simply a design element. There's absolutely no benefit or venting purposes done for this type of design. It's, they just wanted a, a little bit of a unique look. So. We added the western roof system. Here you can see we use the cedar shakes instead of the polymer shakes. They used cultured stone along the bottom there like Ed mentioned earlier. Um, a different railing system, a maintenance free railing system. So these are all things we're going to cover during your appointment with your sales staff to make sure we get the products that you guys want. Stain and caulk. Um, everyone has questions about the stain and caulk. How long does it last? Things like that. Truly. It's a loaded question. I mean, unless I know your specific um, exposure to the sun, uh, if you're living in the high plains versus uh, in Wisconsin, um, everybody's house is going to last a different amount of time. 
Uh, the sun is what breaks down your stain the quickest, okay? That's going to have the biggest effect on stain. All of the products we have and we offer have been in the industry for a very long time. We've tested all of our products prior to offering them to our customers. So it's not like uh, a salesman came in and said, hey, we got a great product, will you sell it? And we agree to it. We'll make sure that we've tested it in our yard, uh, that we know it's going to stand the test of time. All of our exterior products are a two-coat system, regardless of what you choose. Permachink Ultra 7, manufactured by Permachink, um, is a water-based formula. It is one coat of stain, one coat of sealer. When it comes, to main, comes time to maintaining that product, you will be able to apply just a clear coat over the top of it, so you won't be adding any additional pigment. CTA Outlast Q8 is a bit unique from the other products that we carry here at Golden Eagle. It's a penetrating log oil. With this product, you apply one coat of stain. You have to wait 12 months, but before 24 months, apply that second coat of stain. That first coat needs a proper, time, proper amount of time to penetrate before you apply that second coat. And once again, when you maintain this product, you're just going to be reapplying the same product over the top. So you will be adding additional pigment. With all penetrating log oils, it's my understanding that they they start to fade over time. So you're just reapply, reapplying more pigment to bring it back to you know, its original state or its original color. Sashko Transformation Log and Timber is a product that's manufactured out of Colorado. This also, a two coat system, it's an oil based formula and it is gonna be a product that when it does come time to maintain this product, you're gonna be reapplying the exact same product once again over the top. It's two coats of the exact same formula. Weather Seal is a price point product. This can be applied as a one coat system. Um, it's a product that we don't sell very much of, but it's certainly an, it's an, it's an option that's available for you folks if you're looking to save some money. Interior stain wise, uh, Permachink Lifeline Interior, um, all of our interior stains are also a two coat system. On the inside of your house, once you stain it, you're done. Unless you care to change the color of your house, uh, once we choose that color and you do it, you should not have, well, there will not be any additional maintenance that needed. All of them are gonna have UV, in, UV inhibitors, things like that, to help reduce any picture frame effect that may happen from hanging items on the wall, uh, that type of stuff. So, but a, all three lines, uh, really, once again, these are gonna boil down to a color choice for you guys and making sure you get the color that you want. Textures, I, I tend to get a little bit long-winded. Textures and finishes, um, not only on the exterior home, but on the interior home, you don't have to stick with one design element. It, it's a good idea to bring different textures into all different rooms in your house, as well as the exterior. Um, log siding in rooms that aren't necessarily on the exterior wall of your home. Um, exposed beams and timbers, cultured stone, drywall. Uh, drywall, we hate it. We don't sell it, we don't make any money off it. Don't use it, okay? I'm just kidding. No, drywall can be a great opportunity for you folks to, uh, to paint rooms the way you want, bring in different uh, colors, things like that. So, um, tile backsplashes, showers, flooring, you know, uh, tile walk-in showers, things like that. Like I had mentioned, the cultured stone, uh, bringing shakes in. Uh, generally don't see them on the inside of the house, but uh, different accent walls with shakes um, and different shingles, things like that. Maximizing your outdoor space is another conversation that we're going to have. Many of our house designs have covered porches on them. Many of you I noticed, I looked at the name tag table before uh, you guys got in here today. A lot of you are from Wisconsin. I don't know about you, but I feel like we have winter and we've got mosquitoes. Those are our two seasons, okay? So adding a screen porch uh, to what your already existing covered porch in your design is a nice way to uh, extend your outdoor time, um, keep you from swatting the bugs. Uh, also, we all offer a vinyl four track window system, um, which I personally have on my covered porch. Um, it's, I feel like it's truly extended the life of our outdoor living, eating by a month and a half a year. I mean, those vinyl four track windows allow us, uh, allow the sun just to warm up our covered porch area. Uh, we can eat dinner out there with our kids at night in the fall and early spring. So it's certainly a good opportunity, an inexpensive opportunity to expand your living space. 
really that's about it. What I, what I wanted you guys to understand about coming here to, uh, to our facility and Golden Eagle in general is that uh, your options truly are endless. So there are going to be no limitations to the products that we carry. Um, we have put in the research and time necessary to assure that you're selecting the highest quality products by companies that stand behind their products. Our knowledge and years of experience will help guide you guys through the entire selections process, uh, allowing you to select purchases, uh, select products that are going to fit your budget and will stand the test of time. So I appreciate all you folks coming here today and hopefully look forward to meeting with you again in the future. All right. Thank you.